Hi, my name is Caitlin and I'm a junior on SPU's rowing team. Caitlin, you just heard the news that your rowing team is uh, qualified <laughs> for the NCAA championships. What are your emotions right now? Um, well, I had to just wipe some mascara off the bottom of my <laughs> face because I've been crying. Um, I've been really excited. There was a lot of emotion and a lot of tension going in. Um, we postponed watching our selection show by a whole hour just so more of our team could make it. Um, and when we finally found out, the room just erupted and was, yeah, very rewarding. You're uh, one of those, I have a handful who have been here now for all three years under Coach Derek. Uh, tell us a little bit about, how, how remarkable is this? Uh, like, did you think this was improbable, maybe when you started three years ago, to be in the championships this soon? You know, we've all had this goal since day one, um, and it's been a very cumulative effort seeing us work towards it every single year. And, you know, unfortunately last year we came up just a little short, um, but that sent us into this year with so much more motivation and clear-cut goals moving forwards. So, yeah, it's pretty hard to picture, like, my freshman year walking in thinking that this is where it would be now, but it's really easy to just go back and see how one step led into the next, and, you know, that's where, why we are where we are right now. Um, and, you know, that's not the last step either. We're just going to continue to improve and train hard, so I'm really excited to see you know, not only this year, but years to come. Certainly, and this was no gift. You earned your way into that championship. Uh, this crew, your your varsity eight crew, got really fast. H <laughs> how did that happen, or what's been the key to that success? Uh, we've definitely increased our volume of training this year, um, and that's been really key in our success, just doing longer workouts, clocking more meters on the erg, um, coming in, you know, a side of practice, because I think all of us have been so motivated, and we just have this end goal in mind of making it to NCAAs and seeing what we can do there, that having that much energy and input from the whole team has really provided a great road to success for us. Well, you did what you can do on the water, including last Friday in Oklahoma, a great result uh, back there in the tri-meet with Barry in, in central Oklahoma. How nerve-wracking, though, it was up to the committee, your fate was in their hands, <laughs> how nerve-wracking was this weekend waiting for the selection show? Um, you know, we came off the water in Oklahoma and we were pretty proud of our results. Um, you know, the conditions were something that we haven't necessarily had to face to that extent before. And just knowing that we did everything we could. So we left Oklahoma feeling proud of ourselves, but also knowing, like, trying to play out the scenarios in our heads, what, you know, what it would look like for us not to make it, in what circumstance could we not make it. So even though you know, we put ourselves in a position this year to like, oh, we're, you know, when we talk at practice, we talk about planning to go because that's what we're working towards. But just knowing that, you know, we don't get that final say in it yeah. was very nerve wracking. Well, you've been in some big time regattas, San Diego Crew, Lax, Crew Classic, Windy Mare Cup here in Seattle, tens of thousands of spectators. Mm -hmm. Uh, this one's a little different, though, with, you know, a national championship on the line. What do you anticipate you'll be feeling at the starting line of that uh, first thing on, on May 31st? Um, this will for sure be the biggest race that we've been a part of, um, especially in terms of importance. And it's cool because it's all of the divisions all at once. Um, and so it'll be a very big race, and I think that it's just going to take a lot of focus on the part of our team, knowing that we've come here for a purpose. So, Previously, the NCAA Championships had uh, allowed an at-large eight in, uh, so SPU has really only qualified once as a complete team, and that was in 2010 when they finished second. So I want to lastly give you a chance. A key to this qualification was also your varsity four. Um, your thoughts on them and their contribution to this berth? Our, each person on our team is working just as hard as the next and constantly pushing each other up. Um, our four has been instrumental in our success this year. Um, our eight has taken to writing on each other's backs because when you're sitting in a row, you can stare at the person in front of you. So we write for the four on every single race. Um, and we have our cox and call out calls for them because it takes a team. And I just remember when our four was in Oregon and our eight was in San Diego, that was a call that we made and took two seats on the boat next to us and I cut out the GoPro footage and sent it to our four and there were definitely some tears so they're putting in really hard work and I'm so proud of them and you know this is something that I'm sure especially our novices just 
it's been a whirlwind this yeah. year. So. Well, Caitlin, thanks so much for your time. Congratulations on reward for a, a job well done, and good luck in nationals. Thank you.